This is V, Diamond in the Rough, and um, yeah, that will do a whip and chat. Um, I'm just starting to set up, so um, you'll get a bit of yawning from me this morning. It's uh, basically 7.30 Monday morning. I... Just done two day shifts. I might bring you down a bit in a sec. Um, just trying to work out this. Uh, there we go, that's better. Alright, um... Yeah, so it's 7.30 Monday morning. I've just done three day shifts. I'm about to do two night shifts. Um, so I'm just up for a bit. I've got, I'm expecting some packages today, or at least one package. <laughs> one that I'm hoping for. No, there's one that's I'm guaranteed to receive, so. Um, but. I've done some little bit of thinking about um, the fortnightly vlogs I've been doing. Now, um, I haven't released a fortnightly vlog um, for this fortnight just gone. Hang on, I'm just finding colours. There we go. Um... Yeah, the 844, hang on. Now, I haven't done the fortnightly vlog. Yes, I've been recording as I go, um, just little updates. But I'm just finding it a bit hard to um, how, to, how do I put it? It's just a bit hard to actually end up putting the videos together so what I've decided to do I'll go back to doing whip and chats um, um, and post whoops wax tray and possibly doing once a month this is where I'm up to uh, so that's what I'm looking at at this stage. Um, what have I achieved so far? Um, at, up to now, for the last fortnight, I've done, I've worked on <coughs> beaded cross stitch, um, the uh, seven. So I've worked on the beaded cross stitch a bit, um, so that's out now. I'm really enjoying working on that one. Um, it's excellent working on that. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I'm sitting on the. Ca oh, you know, I'm actually sitting on the couch. Granted, it might look a bit uncomfortable, but um, yeah, it's pretty good to do. Really, am enjoying it. Um, I've done, well, I completed Victoria's Moon. Did I just put the wrong one in there? Oh, no, I didn't. So I've just completed, uh, completed Victoria's Moon, did the review for that. Ah, oh, 611. 61, ah, uh, make a mess of that. Uh, six one one. Okay. So yeah, I've um completed the Victoria's Moon. Did my review on that one. 
Uh, one of the things I did say is that she's going to be sending me another diamond painting. Um, you know, she asked for me to get, get pick one that was under 55. I think it's because of the paper. But she recognised the fact that people had given her suggestions and they were taking them on board. I will say I've seen an unboxing done for Victoria's Moon where um, they have an inventory sheet received. I think I saw one where the inventory sheet that was not an inventory sheet, but the um, symbol listing um, three one seven was actually on a piece of paper. So you had your legend on there. Uh, in relation to that, I've seen two. The first one I saw was actually black and white. And the second one I saw was colour. So, you know, my recommendation was to have it in colour. Um, so we'll see how that goes, see whether I get one with colour. But the one that I ordered, I didn't order a simple one. I ordered a, I keep saying a five panel, but I didn't order a five panel. I actually ordered... 640 a four panel so we'll see how that goes um, I've worked on a couple of five panels already I actually do enjoy them um, one of the things to try out with a, a multi panel is to see whether all of the symbols are the same um, that's the big one for a multi panel because I've received the two multi panels that I've already received had um, not all the symbols matched. So you had um, 318. Uh, uh, some of the symbols for like A and E were the same, and then B and D were the same, and then E, the one in the middle C was um, had was its own symbols in itself so that's just um, oh gosh here we go yes um, so it'd be nice to know you know to be able to say well this multi-panel all four panels have the same symbols and DMC codes 414 so yeah, so that's where I stand with Victoria's Moon. I love the final effect and that is what I think diamond painting is more about is the final effect and whether you enjoy doing it, um, which I did enjoy doing that one. Okay, um, then I'm now working on Girl by Carousel, which is from DIY Moon. I have also, uh, what else have I done? I did some resin work. So I did the, um, I did two serving boards. <laughs> I have a request to do one already for somebody, one of my subscribers. So uh, Michelle, yep, I'll be doing one for you. And um, it's really funny because she turned around. Hang on. I know the E is in there somewhere. 610. Um, but when she sent me the message, she sent me a message and she turns around and she goes, Oh, um, she's asked if I could do her a breadboard. And because I'm thinking along another pro about another process at the moment. I've turned around and I said, yeah, I'm contemplating doing another, uh, doing bead boards, um, but possibly using the round trays, not the triangular trays, because I think I might be able to fit more in. Um, <laughs> and she actually, you know, and I turned around and said a few, th few more things about it, and then she turns around and said, uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea, but I was saying breadboard for my mum. Oh. <laughs> Um, I was actually reading the messages when I was at work and which is what I shouldn't be doing and shouldn't be admitting to but I was uh, reading the messages um, on my work, work computer 
And so I was not, I was concentrating on my job, which is what I should be doing. So I was still concentrating on my job and not really reading what was um, message to me. But where am I going with that? Why am I mentioning it? Because what I'm looking at doing is I'm going to see if I can create a beadboard um, not with the triangular trays. I'm looking at creating them with the round trays. I know people are using the green boats um, because they've got the ribbed but the green boats do take up a lot of space. Hang on. <sighs> in my G's I tipped some colours in that um, don't belong there so instead of filtering going through and sorting the colours because I can see the difference I decided that I would just pull them out as I go <laughs> uh, okay I know what colour it is anyway um, so yeah contemplating looking at how I go about creating beadboards myself um, and in that process if anybody was interested um, for me to make them beadboards with resin on um, 3023 because that's I mean that's just a thought at this stage but yeah I've got to look at it um, and what I how I would like to do it is actually um, excuse me do the uh, resin work on YouTube you know record it and then um, just somebody you know if you if the first person that messages to say they want it um it will be theirs um i am looking at around well i couldn't say what i'm looking at around at this stage um i know beadboards are depending on where you go um, like DIY Moon, their beadboards are pretty expensive. Um, www, 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 uh, w, there we go. Um, so yeah, their beadboards are pretty expensive. How do I know that? Because this is where this, my two came from. Um, 935. So I want to try and look at keeping the cost at reasonable price, uh, but remembering that I suppose like DIY Moon, these are all going to be individually made, as in there will be nothing will be the same. I will use different colours every time. So that's something that I'm contemplating. Um, I'm possibly looking... Because it's, well, because it's a hobby, uh, what I do here is a hobby, it's not a business. So I'm looking at around the 75 Aussie dollar mark. That's what I'm thinking, to keep it reasonable. Um, I mean, it just depends on what the material will cost me. Um, but yeah, 75 Aussie and then... Um, freight now freight's not cheap uh, and they are not they're not going to be light um, because the resin although the board what I'm going to make them out of is going to be thin board like this the resin will give it a lot of weight um, so that's where I'm going with that um, the other with the resin work is I've got some UV resin coming which is um, scheduled for delivery Wednesday however 
I expect it may be here earlier than that. But I will soon find out, won't I? Because um, today is Monday, so... Mm. Um, so that's where that sits. And with that resin, um, I've also ordered magnets. So looking at doing cover minders with um, the magnets actually um, inside the resin so there's no gluing of magnets on it is just um, I'll be doing a top and the bottom and both will have both sides will have something magnetic in them um, so that then they will um, stay together like that so that's another one that I'm thinking of using silicon. Whoops, nearly went the wrong one. Silicon molds, um, and yet again, making them <coughs> on making video, recording the process of doing it, and then if people want to purchase them, they purchase them. But um, and it, it, you know, yet again, I still got to try and work out how much I charge because <laughs> I keep saying it, it's a hobby. Um, but I want to bring stuff to my channel where, like, I I enjoy using doing the resin work and I love doing the DPing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So it's just try and combine the two, and I don't want to do resin work and have things at home you know you, I, my diamond paintings where I make them and I frame them and they're for home or to give away as gifts um, it's pretty hard to do resin work and give some things away the serving boards and the cutting boards are so easy for me to give away as gifts um, but you know I can only give away a serving board to one person and then the next time I can't give them another serving board um, so yeah um, so that's where so um, you know what I'd like to do is actually give the option for people to see what I've done and I suppose first in best dressed to purchase um, but yeah just so that I don't <clears throat> I can keep doing what I enjoy doing without it building up inside the house because <laughs> Nathan will get pretty cranky at that. So in in saying that, if you are interested in um, cover, minder, cover minders, serving boards, or the possibility of me doing uh, bead boards in resin, um, let me know. I want to know the interest. Um, yeah, because I want to, uh, you know, it's just something that I like to do. I'm bring, bringing it to the channel already. Um, and you guys seem to like what I end up producing. And to actually have a piece where you watch it cre being created, um, you yeah, know, that might be something that you guys like. So, yeah, that's where I'm sitting with that one. That's a bit of a thought there. Hey oh, mouthful of coffee. So I've worked out the good way to work with the bead boards. Um, I'm not pulling out every colour on setting them up because I, I've only got space for 20 colours. What I am doing obviously here is just um, building it as I go. So as I need a colour, I'm just building it from there. Um... So that's how I find the bead board works well because as I'm putting it, as I'm building, um, you know, I'm adding only one colour and learning, you know, it just makes it simpler. Instead of just pulling out all the colours I think I might need. So I've tried that out. Um, it's not too bad, but the, this is actually a better way to do it. It just seems to have the process of building slowly. This is what I use for when I do... Um, this is the way I build my colours slowly when I do um, my blank custom. Uh, it works for me, so yeah. 
But it is so nice not to put colours away. Once you get them out, they're out. Next board. Yeah, once, once your colours are out, they're out. There's no putting them away. And I know I've got a delivery today. So I'll continue to diamond paint until that delivery arrives. I'll do the unboxing. But to do the unboxing, instead of packing the, this away, I'll just pick the trays up and move them on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Instead of packing them up, oh my gosh, it's so good. I do like the fact that I don't have to pack my colours up. Um, you know, I'm just able to work as I go. You will see that I have done colours already I already put drills down um, that was just me last night just filling time I was like oh, I'm not going to do a lot of diamond painting so I just pick one colour at a time <laughs> three sections later <laughs> so it's like okay back to using the bead board it's just easier <clears throat> um, with the craft baits lockable having a spoon a little tiny spoon is really good um, that spoon I think I've mentioned before I've got a couple of these little spoons they're actually teaspoons from when I fly so when I've been on planes you get the little teaspoon to stir your coffee with um, that is the spoon <laughs> and every flight I get on I end up taking the, st the spoon home so I've got a couple of those So yeah, um, that's where I'm at with that. Um, Work-wise, work's quite interesting at the moment. Um, we go through salary review <coughs> every year. You know, they look at we get, we might get a bonus, and we might get a salary, we might get a salary increase. Um, depending on <clears throat> all sorts of things with that so I got my 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 supervisor handed me did we sat down and she gave me my letter uh, with what I'm getting and I was pleasantly surprised um, in the climate that we're in now I we don't, you don't see many pay rises at the moment. Um, you know, my partner is spewing because he's not getting a pay rise. Um, you know, and, and that's just the way that the cl economic climate is at the moment, that businesses aren't doing pay rises. Um, but I will say, I got the highest percentage pay rise I have ever received so I must be doing okay at my job it's a good thing it makes you feel good um, oops, I'm just going to get that one in that's under the plastic uh, yeah so yeah so pay increase and Also, I did get a bonus, so um, that's that's where the computer will be being replaced. And on that note, how's the sound? <laughs> I've actually got a headset and microwave, a microwave microphone, <laughs> um, and so I'm trying it out. Tried it out a little bit last night, and I think I've got the sound right finally. And you're not going to be hearing my computer taking off I mean, my computer still needs to be replaced but you won't hear it taking off I hope <laughs> so yeah hopefully the sounds good um, I suppose well I'm nearly half an hour into this this uh, whip and chat um, 
So if you're still with me, thank you for still being with me. I really appreciate it. I... Ooh, I'm already tearing up now. Um, I don't... Mm. I... I don't want any... I'd say sympathy. I don't want any comments on what I'm about to say now. Um, emotionally, I I don't think I could deal with anybody sending me good wishes or anything like that. Um, not in relation to this. It's just um, because it's up in the air. Um, while I was away in Cairns, I had a bit of a health scare. Went into the doctors and you know had some tests done and you know she turned around and said if you don't hear from me it's all good don't don't you know it's something else it's probably nothing too serious just follow up with your GP when you get back to your hometown when your holiday's over so I didn't hear from her um, and what happened while I was there didn't ha- hasn't happened again so I was like oh well I won't go until it happens again if it happens again. Um, on Wednesday last week I think that's probably why I haven't done much on Wednesday well I haven't done much in the way of recordings but on Wednesday I got a phone call from the doctor's surgery in Cairns to say doctor would like to see you um be able to come in and see her within the next two weeks nothing urgent but we need you to come in to discuss your test results of the ultrasound so I've turned around and said oh I'm back in Perth I was only in Cairns on holidays and they're going oh, okay so we need to send these to your GP in Perth and um, for your doctor over there to review and discuss with you um, so yeah, that was Wednesday, they made the call, so I gave them my doctor's details here in Perth, and Thursday morning, I received a phone call from my doctor's surgery in Perth to say, we got some test results here, um, of an ultrasound, and the doctor would like to see you within the next two weeks, um, nothing urgent. But we, she wants to discuss the results. So, obviously, whatever happened, whatever's going on, is a not just a, a thought of oh well, you know, it's just me going through menopause, or I'm just falling apart because I'm getting old. Although I'm not that old, <laughs> I'm not fifty yet. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I've never had, I've never been in a situation where the, I've had a doctor ring me up, a, a surgery ring me up and going, the doctor wants to see you for your test results. Um, so a bit concerned. Um because one of the things that she said when I went in and saw her is that they were going to be screening for ooh, the big C cancer. So we'll see how that goes. But, um, so yeah, um, I'll probably keep, keep you guys updated and go, yeah, it was nothing. It was just a little irregularity. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Um, who knows? I'm trying to think on the positive side. <laughs> Maybe it's a kidney stone or something else. I mean, I did, did I did a test, and it's like it wasn't. It's not an infection that was causing the issue. So you know, maybe it's kidney stones or something like that. I mean, she scared the crap all out of me, and the first words out of her mouth were bladder cancer, and it's like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's not that. <laughs> hope it's not that so yeah well uh, I'll keep going with this uh, um, keep you guys updated I suppose um, but please um, 
No comments on that. Um, yeah, I don't want to draw attention to it too much. This is more a... I mean, I don't have that many many of you guys, many subscribers, and you guys... not every, <laughs> I now know that not everybody actually gets here and listens all the way to the end. <laughs> Hello, Nan, Cam <laughs> Kathy and Cindy. I know you're still hanging in there with me. <laughs> or I'd like to believe you still are. <laughs> oh, hmm. oh. 3861. So, yeah, there's a yeah, there's a little bit going on there. Um, so I don't know how I'll go, how I'll feel. What will happen, you know, a bit, I am a bit, uh, get in one of those holes, will you? I am a bit tad nervous about it. Um, <laughs> my mum thinks me, <laughs> thinks I was more than a tad nervous about it because I had, um, I had <laughs> parts like, well, oops, sorry, I hit the microphone. Um, how am I doing? I'm not doing that colour. Um, yeah, so I, my mum believes I had a stress reaction um, because I'm, I'm, I'm stressing about it. Yeah, I am stressing about it. Stressing about it in my own way. Tackle it when it comes to that. Oh, yeah. I can worry all I want and um, get there to jump to conclusions on what it is, but until until they tell me what it is, until I have the discussion, I can't form an opinion. I, I just can't because I'm just going to stress myself out more and more. And if there is something wrong... Um, I think I'll do enough stressing once I know what's wrong, if there is something wrong. But yeah, uh, so that's that side of it. Uh, so I suppose the big question is, how, how are you guys doing? <laughs> I know I watch YouTubers and at the beginning of their chat, their videos, it's like, how are you going? You know, how's your day? Um, yeah, um, and I'm guilty of not doing it. Um, although I do enjoy hearing from you guys and and yes, you know, hearing how you're going. Um, oh, that's something. Um, so Nan or Nancy has she posted her pictures on the. Cheetah that she won, the custom cheetah that she won. Um, looks on her face are priceless. Um, so yeah, so she's posted pictures of the unwrapping, unboxing. Cindy has um, hers all set up and ploughing away through her custom, which is really cool. Um, so we'll find out how they go, and uh, I mean, these these ladies will also let me know if there's any issues. Um, I've already had contact from Cindy, so yeah, once you've completed, if you've got any issues, uh, let me know, and I can give that feedback to Viv H. I am functioning enough and concentrating enough that I know that I'm about to put something in the wrong spot. Um, oh yeah, this is this is nice, just plodding along like this. I know I've pulled the W's out. There we go. Uh, what else is going on? I think that's about it. I suppose a half an hour whip and chat's not too bad. Um anything else no life's pretty quiet otherwise um i mean i've got two more night shifts to go and then i've got five off um 
but I'm on the I'm in the I'm on the on the um final stages of getting to the best lot of um my roster. Um, so like I do if I look at my roster on a fortnightly basis in one fortnight Sorry, in one fortnight I work um, two lots of five days or five shifts, two lots of five 12 and a half hour shifts. Um, so in a fortnight I work, I do 10 shifts in a fortnight, which um, is when you look at it, that fortnight is, it's, it is hell. And I mean, that's where I'm about to finish that fortnight, which is why um, I've just decided I, I can't do the fortnightly vlogs. I think I'll do a monthly update and then go on from that with the fort, with um, just monthly updates and just do whip and chats and possibly some, a bit more in the way of lives. Um, so yeah, so basically I've just done, hang on, so they are, I know I normally have it worked out, I, I've had it figured out before, um, 10 by 12.5, yeah, 125 hours in two weeks, in a space of two weeks. So, I mean, that's, that is a lot of time. Um, but it actually, <laughs> um, it does actually work out longer than that because um, a door-to-door, -door, so from home, so leaving to get to work and then coming getting home is... Just under 14 hours, 13 and a half to 14 hours to from me going from home to work to home. So yeah, there's that's a lot of hours. All right, so if you add on one and a half hours to each day, that there's you know 130, 135 hours based on work for a, in a fortnight. But I'm on the about to hit the good fortnight. Which is where, oh, is that an 8 or an S? Oh, it's an S. I'll just pop that one there. Uh, <laughs> I'm about to hit the good fortnight where I only do two shifts in the fortnight. Okay, so I have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Then I'll work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then I get Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. So, you know, so I'll get 10 days off and only work four shifts. So it is on, we're on, I'm on the good, good point of, um, I'm in, on the good, uh, good part of the swing. So, yeah, which means I'll get a lot more done. I mean, when I'm on, oh, when I'm on the, on my long fortnight, oh my gosh, you know, I really shouldn't commit to doing anything. <laughs> uh, um, I saw, so on one of the Facebook posts, um, someone made a comment, and I reckon it's absolutely brilliant, made a comment, yeah, they do a 12-hour shift. They come home and they're too tired to diamond paint. And then others are saying, yeah, they can't do it after an eight-hour day. And my comment that I made was after a 12-and-a-half-hour shift, I need to diamond paint to wind down. Um, I suppose because... <laughs> and it is, it's my, because it's a, my job's class is a high-stress job, I need to... 
sit and do nothing and not think. Um, I don't know whether I've mentioned it before. I think I have about the job being active listening. And so there's a difference between listening and active listening. Active listening means that when somebody says something, you are able to repeat word for word what they have said. So if you can imagine that for, I suppose, roughly nine hours in a 12 and a half hour shift, so about nine hours, you are, anyone that is called, you speak to on the radio, you need to be able to say word for word what they say or when you give an authority or a clearance on the radio you need to be able to listen that they are saying word for word what you said because if if I said something and a driver turned around and repeated back to me and I wasn't listening properly. Um, I might end up with the wrong driver saying, um, talking to me. And when you have the wrong driver talking to you, um, you know, we, we're giving an authority for a train driver to go from point A to point B um, but if you get a different driver call up and he says point C to point B and you don't hear it, um, repercussions on that is possible. Well, switch run-throughs, derailment of trains and... Um, Things that are a tad more serious, you know. It's not just equipment damage, it's it's injury to people. Which is why after a long shift, just being able to sit down and diamond paint and have my thoughts basically engulfed in, in making sure the right colours go in the right spot. <coughs> You know, that's that's a big thing. Um, it's a good wind down. So, yeah, um, you know, I enjoy what I do. Um, it's been a while since I've actually enjoyed a job that I do. We have some very stressful moments. <laughs> some interesting stressful moments. Um, I think... For me, I think on my third day of being fully qualified, so I was no longer under training and nobody was supervising me to make sure I was doing the right thing. Um, so I was, I knew I qualified what they call passed out, um, for that section of train traffic, train lines. Um, gosh, they are so close. Hang on. That's an S. I need to work on these ones specific, this one's corner. That's an S. So basically my, um. And that's an S, all the rest are eights. Basically, on my third day of being qualified, I nearly derailed a set of locomotives. <laughs> I can giggle now. It's taken me a while to be able to giggle over it because, oh my gosh, it scares the hell out of you. I was able to get the driver to pull up in time. But yeah, you know. It's still the thought of what could have happened. And that's one thing that's with me at all times now with active listening and um, concentrating on my job. Um, on some qu 
quiet nights or some quiet days. You don't always, you're not always looking directly at the at the board, the train control board, which is where you got all your operations going on. Um, but you are still actively listening. Um, that's an S. Yeah. So yeah, I love my job. But you have to de-stress. Um, but yeah, I think on that note, I on that day that that happened, so my third day of being qualified, <laughs> I came home and Nathan's gone, how's your day? And I've gone, I've had an incident. I've had to make statements on what's happened. I've had to have drug and alcohol test, rah 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 all of this. Because if you make a mistake, you, the repercussions of what could have happened are so huge and they need to make sure that you are you were functioning properly um, you weren't under any influence of anything um, drug alcohol or sleep deprived so you've got to be able to state all of that stuff um, because it is our responsibility to be fit for work if you're not fit for work you have to put your hand up. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Oh, with the mic right there, you probably caught that big time. So sorry. Um, yeah, so you'd have an incident and it's all drug and alcohol test and statements and all that. But So I've come home on my third shift of being qualified and Nathan's gone, oh, how's your day? <laughs> and I've looked at him gone... I nearly derailed some locomotives today. <laughs> oh, so funny. Funny now. Mm. Um, but I mean that's... For the fact of how I put it when I when I said it to him, I don't think it registered what that meant. Um... Yeah, it it didn't register what that meant, which is quite interesting. And then, yeah, last year, something happened within our train lines. And, yeah, he saw a bit more about what can happen. Um, I can say what when in the media, we, well, which is basically what we knew anyway. Um, but we had a train derailment, a big train derailment, uh, you know. And when he found out the cost of a derailment and all the other stuff, you know, like that could have gone wrong. Um, I think that was when he actually realised the seriousness and the implications of my job. Because he used to make some interesting comments about me going to work and, you know, sitting back and having it cushy and getting paid a shit ton of money. <laughs> well, not a shit ton of money, but um, a good amount of money. I'm still one of the lowest train controllers in the company, <laughs> lowest paid, um, even with a pay increase. Um, but yeah, that was when he realised that how serious my job can get. Um, and I mean, we have five sections of the train sections that we, we learn. I now, I, I've now learned two so I'm qualified to run two boards solo um, but I'm learning my third board or I'm starting to learn my th third board and the third board is the one where if a derailment's going to happen it is it is that board in itself that section of the track that will happen that's where the big derailments happen so, you know, it's, I'm eager to learn it, but it's pretty daunting when you know what can happen. And when you've 
had to deal with something like that. So yeah. But that all came about, that conversation all came about from, <laughs> you know, stressful job and I need to have something to do at the end of the day or the end of the shift. Um, so yeah, I get in and diamond paint. And it's nothing unusual for me to sit and diamond paint for four or five hours <laughs> at a time. Um... When I'd work on my resin, that's done during the day and not while I'm on shift um, because that's a, you know, that's a, a longer process that I've really got to keep a close eye on and I can't walk away from. Um, but, yeah, so that's where we're being able to diamond paint, wind down. It's really good and, like... Last night, I got home <clears throat> uh, around the 7 o'clock mark. Sorry, I was yawning. And like, because tonight I'm doing night shift, what I did last night is I sat up till, I think, 2 a.m. this morning, um, diamond painting. Um, so I've gone to bed and had four hours sleep and I'm not pulling this one out of the <clears throat> I don't use many M's at the moment um, so yeah Oop. golly gosh that's why I yawn so much um, I, yeah, went to bed at 2, suppose I got to sleep about 2.30, maybe earlier, um, but then I did turn around and this morning, you know, up at 6, 6.30, because Nathan's up, you know, he's woken up, so gotten up, and I'll be up till... Well, actually, I'll be up until my package arrives and I've done, I've unboxed my package from DIY Moon. <laughs> um, and then I'll go back to bed and sleep. So, But, yeah, I mean, I, I tend to enjoy just sitting and doing this. Oh, that's something I've done. I did a little bit more paint by numbers. That's what I did too. It's a bit more paint by numbers as well. Um, I have a one paint by numbers that is uh, on a frame already, so that's the one I've been working on recently. I do need to go back and do the pink. Oops, there goes that wax caddy again. <laughs> and the lid. <laughs> Whoa, hang on. Now I go pick it up. Um... Where's my pen? There we go. And I've completely lost my train of thought of where I was going. Oh yeah, I'll get my package and I'll unbox it. And try and upload it as well. Um, if I don't, well, and put it together. Wait, when I do an unboxing, obviously the unboxing is done without any... Um, well, basically, there's no editing, no having to put anything together in most cases because it's all in one go of, of unboxing and that. Um, you know, it's not like um, when I do my vlogs, I've got to be able to put those together and, and that kind of thing. A unboxing is just creating my title, my ending and putting it in, in at the beginning and the end of the um, recording so they don't take that long um, the rendering depends on how long the video is for it takes it just shows how long the rendering takes and then the uploading onto YouTube now 
I was uploading wirelessly. Now I've got direct cable to the internet now. So um, that process in itself is now quicker. But my computer is still not, my computer is not happy, which means that it's working slow anyway. So uh, I've done what I can to clean it up and get rid of stuff and all of that. But it's just not, it's not going to happen. I need to do a bit more. Alrighty. Alright, I'm going to move some colours around. Um, going to shift the E to there. Um, it's a thing. I don't have to pack them away, but I can look at what I don't need. Um, I move the S's. I move the W across. Um, put that one in there. Do I have another tray? Yep, there it is. There. <coughs> the dreaded three ten. Which is the A. Um, 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 um. See, I might move that one to there. I'm going to be needing the 310 more than anything. That's what these bead boards are good for, is you can just move them around. Um, 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 um. Now I just need to get the colour out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean that's... I enjoy diamond painting and it's a good de-stressor and I think most of us enjoy the the fact that when you're diamond painting you don't say escape from reality um, but you do you you get a reprieve from the from the world which is really good um which is needed. So I'm going <clears> to, <throat> I'm actually going to stop there because this has been just about an hour long video. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I obviously will continue to diamond paint today until my package arrives and then I'll pick everything up. Um, and do my recording of my package. Um, but while I'm diamond painting, we'll, I'll be putting this video together to be uploaded for you guys to watch. Um, so yeah, I um, appreciate every one of my subscribers. All, I think I'm at 581 now. Woohoo! Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, if you want to comment, chuck a comment below, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe and please hit the bell you get notified of uploads when I do them uh, you know there is a variety of stuff that I do you don't have to watch it all if you don't like the resin work um, you know just skip it don't watch it um, it's just something I like to do um, what I am contemplating is um, whether I need to just do the resin work with uh, music in the background and not having the same repetitive music trying to find something that I can play you know, a long a long track um, that would be really cool to be able to do that but um, on that note yeah thumbs up thumbs down leave me a comment um, 
please don't leave me a comment on my health. Um, if you want to comment on my health, by all means, send me an email. Um, my details are below. Um, but I prefer 